Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here. A little bit of a quick shoot today. I wanted to talk about factors in video games that affect our enjoyment, most specifically ourselves. We sometimes are the biggest obstacle to being able to enjoy a video game. Now, what do I mean by that? Essentially, playing through Grand Theft Auto V, I noticed that whenever I was playing through this game, I was having the most enjoyment simply progressing through the story as quickly as possible not really goofing around and getting into crazy encounters and things like that like I used to back in the day. That stuff is all fun, of course. Goofing off in GTA, you know, getting wanted sprees against the cops and so on. It can be a lot of fun. However, it can hurt your enjoyment of the game overall. What I mean by that, for example, is in GTA, you earn cash, of course, as you go through the game. You have to accrue a lot of cash in order to buy properties and get new weapons and all that kind of stuff, right? And one of the things that you could do, of course, whenever you want to go to missions, is you can actually hire a cab to fast travel to it. Or you can, of course, just drive there yourself. However, with the amount of time it takes to drive there yourself versus getting the cab, I found myself just basically calling a cab every time I wanted to go to a mission objective because it just was a lot quicker overall. I would have to maybe wait for the cab about 15 seconds, have about a 10 second load time, versus taking several minutes to drive there. I mean, say if I was driving a motorcycle, for instance, and I got in a big wreck and got my character killed and then had to go to the hospital, lose money, and all this other stuff. And if it was old school GTA games, you would lose more than just money. You'd lose all your weapons. It was very punishing in that regard. Um, so it just made a lot more sense to simply, you know, just use the cab, go to the checkpoint. It was just a lot more enjoyable to play the game that way. And then, of course, whenever I didn't want to do anything particular, I never really felt any kind of, like, negative effect from it at the same time. I was still able to enjoy goofing off here or there. You know, sometimes I would come into situations where a random pedestrian would run me over because I was being reckless, of course. And I would go off and, like, blast him, you know. Just typical GTA stuff, right? You know, I would give my little vengeance here or there, you know, kind of the moral code of things. But at the same time, I focused on playing through the missions and I had a blast playing through it. More so than I did the original time when I first played the game. And it actually takes me back to Red Dead Redemption 2, another game that suffered that same fate. Because when I first got Red Dead Redemption 2, of course, you know, I got it at launch, everybody was hyping it up and... You know, I had to join in on the bandwagon. I didn't pre-order, but I basically bought it that day after seeing all the huge positive press from everybody, you know, media and gamers alike. And so I had to be part of that, but I didn't really enjoy the game that much at first because I was kind of goofing around and, you know, really taking my time with it. And that's fine to play that way, but it's kind of the wrong way to play it. It kind of hurts your enjoyment. Uh, because whenever I figured out, at that time, you know, I was really screwing myself. I had a lot of wanted things, and I didn't really have a lot of inventory, because I really kind of blew it up. I really screwed myself. And so, I decided later on to just restart the game from scratch, just play through the missions, and then eventually I got to Chapter 3, where I was able to buy the camp upgrade in order to do the fast traveling, which saved a ton of time and just made exploring a lot more fun because you didn't have to ride everywhere every single time and it didn't take that long to get that point in the game and the game gave you plenty of money as long as you didn't waste it to get those cam upgrades so it just made it a lot more enjoyable at that point in the game I was able to just have a lot more fun and I was able to breeze through the story and still take a break here or there for side quests and things like that it was just a lot more fun that way. So, sometimes we are the biggest barrier to enjoying games. And sometimes it makes sense just to pare it back. Not really focus on all the side objectives and side content. Just do what the game essentially tells you to do. And you're going to have a blast. That's all I've got time for though guys. Down Phoenix out.